this is, this is the time where everything is going to be dropping. How do you guys feel? You, you finally got to the moment where everything's about to come out. I am excited. I am thrilled. Um, a lot of hard work has been put on to make this album like it is today. So I'm just ready for everyone to see, you know, what Hello Sunday has, you know, came up with these pa this past year. Yeah, I'll have to say I feel the exact same way. I'm ready to, like she said, I'm ready to surprise everybody. <laughs> right, because I really think people are going to be shocked because we're more mature now, we're more older. We've been through some things, so yeah, just got to wait till midnight. <laughs> okay, now, now what can people expect from this debut? Like if someone has never listened to any of your music, which shame on you if you've never listened to any of your music, but if they've never heard of you, don't know anything about your movement, what can they expect from this debut? I would say from this debut of our album, they can expect clean music that you can bop to, mm -hmm. clean music that has a positive message in every song, not just one, all of them. They can expect fun. They can expect music that everybody can listen to and they can expect, you know, I feel good music. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, people can also expect, you know, relatable music because I don't think not a lot of artists can relate to a lot of um, people. So I feel like Hello Sunday's music, you can definitely relate to things that we've been through. Ladies, tell me where the name Hello Sunday came from. The name Hello Sunday, it started out as a letter to God because it used to be Hello Sunday, comma. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like, that was back when we were still in kind of our gospel inspirational realm. But as we matured and as we kept going through with Hello Sunday, we decided that we didn't really want to be in the gospel realm. We wanted to be able to sing our, basically make our own genre of inspirational pop. So we dropped the comma and we just said it's going to be Hello Sunday and it's going to mean a new day, a new beginning, something fresh and something or something, yeah, something that nobody's ever heard of. Okay. Now you ladies uh, met and were grouped up you know, just, I guess, either coincidentally or not coincidentally, if you look at it from a larger perspective, you had an opportunity to form some levels of chemistry. And then, of course, you eventually got on the voice and, and we see what we see today. Tell me, how did two people who did not know each other prior form such an amazing chemistry that you have today? Um, I would definitely say that we formed this chemistry through our rehearsals mm -hmm. because we had like the performances that we did on The Voice were nothing compared to the hours and hours of time we spent together in rehearsal and how long we spent together, like, you know, going over dances and talking on the phone and hanging out. Like, it, that's nothing compared to those two, three minutes that we were on stage. So that's definitely, I'm telling you, the, the gym, the rehearsal room, those are the places that definitely brought us together and that, you know, where our relationship kind of, you know, fired up, like our friendship. Okay, okay, all right, wonderful. Now tell me about this, this great place that you ladies have been kind of built from and, and, and cultivated. It's a, it's a wonderful place here in Atlanta. I'm actually here as we speak. Tell me about this, this wonderful place and what it's done for you and, 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 and how it's helped you kind of get to where you are today. AGI, I feel like, is our second home. It's a performing arts school. Um, ages six through up can come here. And what I will say is you can definitely learn a lot through just one summer camp or just one winter camp. Like, they teach you so much about the industry. Um, they prepare you for things like not just the voice, but acting gigs, because a lot of people have, you know, booked a lot of jobs. Um, Jalen on All American, um, Nia on That's So Raven or Raven's Home. It's just a lot of people have just came up and, you know, worked really hard to get what they want. Nice, nice. Now, who are uh, you two ladies are from the amazing city of Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta continues to influence everything. How did this city influence the way that you express yourself as creatives, as well as who you are overall? 
I would have to say this city influenced us by its, first of all, by its scenery, because mm -hmm. we do have some beautiful places here, mm -hmm. and by the people. Mm -hmm. The people, it's a, obviously it's a variety because Atlanta is huge, and it's like you meet, I feel like I, the people in our life, the good ones and the bad ones, they've helped us. Mm -hmm. They built us in some kind of way, you know, so I feel like that's how Atlanta, that's how Atlanta is. Atlanta is very unique in our own way. Like we have a lot of arts, like, like she said, it's a lot of sceneries that, that ha that's around here. Um, and I just feel like maybe the boldness of a lot of people, because that's what Atlanta is. We're just very bold. Not saying that I'm not bold like that, yeah. but, um, <laughs> Um, a lot of people are bold and kind of like, you know, when you go into the industry, you have to be bold in some type of way to get what you want. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you ladies put out a song called Hair that I thought was just amazing. A great uh, pop R&B situation. Tell me about this song in terms of what it means and, you know, the bigger the bigger picture of what you were trying to say. Okay, so hair, it was, what's it called? We, our creative director thought of hair back when we were on The Voice, we were young, and we used to get a lot, like, even though we got good comments, we used to get a lot of hate comments, and people used to be like, oh, it's not fair, it's two against one, or oh, they can't sing, da 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 da, da. Even though they were kids, it was kind of like, even though we were kids, it was kind of like they didn't care. So we felt like hair was the perfect song for us to tell them basically like we don't care what you say at the end of the day we're still gonna eat and we actually actually even if you don't like us we want you guys to eat as well but just not at our table right. you know like like you can go on about your business we want the best for you but obviously if you're not feeling us then hair is basically the anthem to our haters mm -hmm. period point blank um <laughs> I don't, not to be blunt, but that's what it is. Um, like she said, people are going to get hate. And how my dad said, if you get hate, you're doing something right. Because God did not put you on this earth to please everyone. So if I'm getting hate, kudos to me. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I love it. Now, you two ladies are great friends, partners, collaborators, sisters in song, but you are not sisters can you break all that down since people <laughs> say yes. we are not <laughs> sisters we are not god sisters we are not cousins we are not fourth cousins we are nowhere near related guys we are just friends that are just just happen to be very close and who happen to look a little alike <laughs> i mean i don't see it but um a lot of people say i you know what i feel like i feel like you know people just say that because we have similar skin tones and the only thing that i can see that we might be related is maybe the eyes because we both yeah we got like, those cheeky eyes yes. so yes but other than that we really don't see it I, like, I don't see it girl like you like you just saying that <laughs> like you like you just saying that <laughs> now nah, what it is been around each other so long it's just to the point where you that chemistry just bleeds through and it just comes through as what it is sisterhood and it's a beautiful thing now one of my favorite artists is stevie wonder and you ladies performed don't you worry about a thing on the voice and it was amazing how were you introduced to this amazing song and tell me how it all kind of came together in terms of you performing that on the voice well, we were um, in AGI, of course, training, doing our thing. And our creative director, Brandon, he was like, hey, um, this song is popping right now. Um, Tori Kelly, it was like something that was happening on Instagram. And it was like, you remember that run? Oh. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we should really do that. But the whole song, you know, just, you know, have it in our back pocket. Mm -hmm. And that song just happened to be one of the songs that we wanted on The Voice during the not finale, but semi, semi, yeah, semi finale. So yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it. That's how it came about. Yeah. But I love Stevie Wonder and Tori's um, Tori's version of it. It's just such a universal song. Everyone can just connect to it. Everyone can vibe, and everyone knows it. So it's like, hey, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you go. I have a couple more questions for you, ladies. In terms of the voice, what are some of the lessons that you took from that experience? 
Um, one lesson that I took was definitely you gotta, I feel like you have to adapt mm -hmm. because the voice, it, it they move like this. Literally. Like, it's like everything is fast, fast, fast. And you really don't have time to breathe. So I had to adapt and get used to the fast, 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 like learning my songs or learning our songs, remembering our harmonies, mm -hmm. getting time to practice, all of that. It's just, I had to get used to how fast. So mm -hmm. that lesson was probably like I, either either you're gonna get it or you're gonna have to catch up which one so i was like i gotta get i gotta get it so i don't have to catch up i feel like a lesson that i took um from the voice is definitely stay true to yourself because a lot of things were happening while we were on the show and of course little voices are going to get in your head and a lot of insecurities are going to come but you just have to you know look in the mirror and be like okay at the end of the day this is you and if you like it you know stick to it don't don't I wouldn't say be a people pleaser because if you can't be happy you know in your own shoes you, you you're not gonna survive at all mm -hmm. all right good stuff and last question ladies now that your album is going to be dropping tonight or I should say in the morning by midnight if you want to be all accurate tell, <laughs> the, tell the people what they can expect from the heirs to the throne. To the people, <laughs> to the people. Um, what you should expect is a new sound, um, a new version of Hello Sunday. You're not gonna see the voice version. You're not gonna see the 12, 13 year old version. You are going to see the 15, 16 year old version of Chelsea and Myla, Hello Sunday, period, point blank. That, that that's it that's that's it that's all i can say that's all i can say <laughs> that is it for you ladies are absolutely amazing everybody make sure you go out there and grab that when it drops hello sunday atlanta george's best let's go <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you ladies any last words you guys should definitely get the album at midnight tonight and keep it on repeat because it's a banger <laughs> like what do we you know doing? Tell us what you think about it. No, seriously, we want you guys' feedback. So tell us what you think. Period, point blank, and we out of here. <laughs>